Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. So I'm gonna clarify flashlighting a little bit for you. Flashlighting is a response to some maybe troubling behaviors like gaslighting um, that people do as a coping mechanism or as a defense for a trigger they're experiencing. So if you're dating somebody or married to somebody who engages in a, gaslighting or you know they're they're triggered easily and they they really get upset about things that maybe are not that upsetting to the rest of people you want to have a response to them okay because you don't want to just get into that um, tit-for-tat fighting arguing trying to rationalize and speak logic to somebody who's experiencing high emotion because we can't we can't speak logic to somebody who's in an emotional state a high emotional state because that doesn't work so we need to be able to do some other things in order to guard our own heart and protect us so that we're not taking things personally when they have those behaviors and that we're also, we kind of have like a mindset, we have a plan and that helps us feel prepared. Okay, so for example, you might, um, you know, you do something. I, it doesn't even matter what you do. You could spread some butter on a piece of toast and you're like, yeah, I did that, mm-hmm, look at that. And so you're having like this kind of silly attitude that's like, look at me, I'm good. You know, or you might be like, you know, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard or, you know, just something silly like that. So you're being playful and you're using fun and humor when appropriate. Now, again, I do want to remind you, you're not doing it in a way to mock anybody. You're not trying to instigate a fight. You're not trying to make fun of somebody or put somebody down or make fun of their, um, their mental or emotional concerns. You're not doing that. You're just doing it as a way to kind of protect your own self and give yourself some mental flexibility in dealing with a behavior or a relationship that is difficult. Okay, so I'm gonna try to think of some more ideas and put them in the description. And if you have any ideas on how to implement this kind of technique, please post it below because we all need healthy coping skills to deal with difficult situations and people who maybe who haven't learned coping skills yet. We all, we, it's just a, it's, it's a good skill to have regardless. So anyways, put your ideas below. Let me know. I would like to hear some more of them and I appreciate you. Thank you for watching.